Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. Today we are looking at Bloodwood Reload. Bloodwood, Bloodwood Reload. I don't know what that means, um, but it's free to play, it's on Steam, and uh, yeah, just got released. So we're gonna have a look at it and see what this is all about, this Bloodwood Reload. Right, in a small village in Central Europe, something is happening. As the forest growing around it contains something very different, its wood is colored red and is unique within the world. This fact has not passed unnoticed by the world's largest logging company, the White Food Company. Oh, the White Wood Company. You are one of their best men and they don't hesitate to send you to take over the exploitation rights. As you reach the village, a chill runs down your back. Your intuition tells you that this will not be easy and your intuition is something that has, so far, never failed you. Okay. Cool, so I can move around and do stuff. To combine objects, you must click in the first object. The cursor changes and now you can combine with the right object. Okay, so I can combine objects. So it's crafting, right. I'm not sure about a loading screen for every one of those. Ooh, spooky. Are you guys, are you guys scared? All right, well, let's, let's see what we're gonna do. Uh, there's no people. Hello? Hello, anybody? Um, right? How do I use stuff? Hello? Is this a fake town? Oh, street light. I can do stuff. The street light is full of bugs, right? So, so Frank. That's me, I guess, Frank. I say stuff. Either that or I have like an imaginary friend named Frank who I talk to because there's no one here. Hello! Oh, I can enter. Let's go inside. Oh, another loading screen. Cool. Oh, there's someone here. Hello? Her name is Esther. Uh, I would like to talk to her. Hello. Hello, stranger. My name is Frank Bates. I have reserved a room at this inn. Uh, hello, Frank Bates. My name is Esther. Mrs. Esther. Why have you come here to our village? Well, that's hospitality for you. Why are you here? Like, what the hell? Um, I'm an expert in forestry. I'm a tourist. Uh, I'm an expert in forestry. Interesting. Which trees would you be interested in? Uh, my company is very interested in the red trees around the village. We would like to take over the development rights. Who is the village mayor? Or I have to go now. Thanks. Bye. Um, sure. Uh, village mayor? We don't have a mayor. The person in charge in this village is the parish priest. You will find him near the church. Your room is upstairs, but if I were you, I'd leave this village very soon. There is something strange happening here in this village. This village, this village, this village. Oh, sorry. Uh, I got stuck saying this village because I said it so many times. Why don't you leave if there's something strange? There's a very ancient legend that haunts this place. You can try to talk with Travis, the farmer. Maybe he can tell you more about this legend. Good luck. So first you tell me to leave, and now you're telling me to talk with Travis. That doesn't make any sense, Esther. Get your story straight. Here's your key. The room is upstairs. Right, I have a key now. Okay. Metal plates. Metal plates. Man, <laughs> she does not avert his gaze from the bottles. Right. Because um, I might try and steal them. What, what am I? Use goblet. Maybe there's a fountain somewhere. Oh, I have a goblet. Oh, it's like point and click. Metal plates. What else is there that I can have? Nothing. Can I have more things? Now I want more things. I want to talk with Travis, the farmer. Does he say, I am a farmer? Oh, right. That's a cutscene right there. Walking up the stairs, apparently. So this inn is not an inn. It has one room, and it's upstairs. What the hell? Is this the right room? Well, there's only one room. Jesus. Basin. I'll need a basin of fresh water tomorrow. Why? For what? There's a fireplace. The fire is lit and the temperature is good. I will open the cabinet. 
There is an oil lamp. Ugh, God, the controls are, like, really squirrely. Uh, I just, I can just look at it, I guess. That's stupid. Um, door. This door seems like it has been closed for a century. Right. So, let's just stay in the room with the door that we can't open, because that is fine. We will look at matchbox. A normal box of matches. Yep. Bed. It seems to be a rather uncomfortable bed. Cool. Well, I think we need to go talk to Travis. <sighs> uh, down the cutscene stairs. Here we go. Here we go. Right. We're off to find Travis. Why? Oh, God, that's so frustrating. The cutscenes for every single, like, activity. Ah, uh, we get the spooky music. Boom, boom, boom. Right. An old cart. Let's see what he has to say about that. It's a cart full of straw. Looks very smooth. What? Her skin looked very smooth. I touched it. Um, right. Barn bridge. Those are always creepy, I guess. What? What? Um. What? What just happened? Why did that? Why? That had no context and no reason for existing. I don't... I don't get what I'm supposed to do with that information. Someone... Someone stood up? They... They woke up? Maybe they, uh... Were done, uh... You know? Having some alone time? Oh, there's a person. I see. We found him. <laughs> oh, he's walking towards me. Let's just let him push us backwards. Oh, no. He's done. Da -da. He's a priest. Hello, Mr. Priest. Boing. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. I jumped so high. And so slowly. <laughs> Wee! Boing. Boing. I'm on your head because of no reason at all. Oh my god, I can parkour. Parkour, parkour. No, no, stay here, priest. You're, you're allowing me to jump really high through the magic of, of whatever. Of Jesus, I guess. Here we go. Let's jump ahead. Let's jump. Yes. I want to get on that roof, though. You're allowing me to jump. I'm dragging along with you, I see. Here we go. There. Yes, we're up. Hardcore parkour! Oh, we're down. We suck. Alright, let's talk to the priest. Let's see what the priest has to say. I'm busy. <laughs> right. Right. Okay, so you're busy. So, there was a whole cutscene of you, like, waking up and standing up. It's closed. But there was no... What? There was no reason for it, because you're busy. Can we, can we fall off stuff, or are there invisible walls? Oh, no, there's invisible walls. Okay, yeah. Oh, right. Can you... Oh, I... Yep. There are, are invisible walls, and some walls that just don't actually... That aren't even there. That is some fake wall in. Oh, walking through some crates. How did we do it before? There we go. Yeah. Hey, we made it inside the house, and we're out. All right, let's go over this creepy bridge. I'm waiting for a troll to come out and get us. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, did she say where Travis was? Because I don't remember her saying that. And all these missing textures and stuff on the edges is pretty gross. Annoying to look at. Let's just, let's go over here. Oh, is this Travis? Is he going to tell us? Yeah, tell us about the story, Travis. Let me working. Okay, sorry, bye. Right, so... So, the only, the only thing that we were told to do, we can't do. We were told to go talk to him, and we can't. So, what are we gonna do? I mean, what's the point? Um, let's go back across the bridge. See if we missed something. I, I'm thinking we probably didn't. I can't imagine that we missed anything. Right. Can we go up the ladder? 
Oh, oh no. Oh, maybe it'll let us jump high, though. Oh, we can almost get up the ladder. Ah, but not quite. And there's a sickle there. Uh, there's the old cart. I mean, seriously, like, what? Am I missing something? We went to talk to the priest. We couldn't talk to the priest. We, we clicked on the street light. It's full of bugs. What more do you want from me, game? Ugh, this is so boring. I'm just gonna walk off into the swamp, because this is where we started, right? I must go to the town. Must I? I've been to the town. It's intensely boring. I must go to the town. Right. Yeah. Um, well, anyways, that game, I mean, I'm sure there's more to it than this. But, uh, not that I can find. So, uh, I guess that's, that's Bloodwood. Reload. I didn't even get to see any red trees, really. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, bad. Bad game. Bad on you for existing. I have, I have no reason to do any of this. I have no reason to do anything. I've talked to the people you told me to talk to, and they told me to go away. I'll go try and talk to Travis one more time. See if he uh, can tell me what's up. Or maybe, is, did, is this a house that I haven't been to? Can I go in? No, I can't go in this house. There's lights on, but I can't go in because it's not a real house. It's full of people who are too busy to talk to me. Travis, Travis, one more chance. Talk to me. Talk to me, buddy. Let me working. Okay, sorry, bye. Okay, so, inventory. Uh, key. I have a sample pot. I have a business card. No, it doesn't seem to work. Yeah. So our, our crafting system is not very good either. Right. There must be just stuff that I'm missing that I haven't picked up. Um, yeah, I'm not going to play this anymore. I'm done with it. Uh, that's Bloodwood Reload. It's... Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. It's free. It's free. But I still wouldn't recommend it. It's it's bad. I, I give it... Uh, yeah. We'll give it 2 out of 15 Bloodwoods. Class dismissed.